calls me Cloud or Newbie um, because, uh, well, in Brazil they pronounce it my full name, Claudia, Claudia, and so they like made it short to Cloud and Newbie because in Portuguese Cloud is Nuving, but I pronounced it wrong the first time I said it, and so everyone started calling me Newbie because that's just how I said it. So my nickname is Biru Fugeti. Biru is the first part of pyromaniac in Portuguese, I almost said Brazilian. Uh, Fugeti is like rocket or missile or something and that's the nickname that Shawnee gave me because she's just seen a really big difference in my personal growth since last year. And because I like to play with uh, lighters, isqueiros. <laughs> Julia, Julia, Julia! That's what they call me here in Anna, because that's how they pronounce my name. Which is? Which is Julia! I'm basically fluent in Portuguese slash translator. <laughs> my nickname is Machi Leon, and um, it all started last year. I got the first part, which is Machi. Mm -hmm. That's just how they say Matt. They kind of like chop at those T's. Um, and I got the second part this year, the Leao, which comes from a brand of machi, which is like tea. It's like herba machi. And um, it's the lion. So their, their brand, their logo is a lion. Um, we've been pronouncing it wrong for most of the trip. We've been saying Leao, which isn't that bad because in Portuguese that means loyal. So for me it's a win-win. So my nickname is Tishawa. It's the term for the chief of an indigenous tribe. And so according to Jesse, I was unanimous, unanimously chosen to kind of take on this role during this trip. But at the same time, they can kick me off whenever they want. So that's pretty much the story behind it. I'm Pipa, which means kite in Portuguese. And it came from like looking up in the sky and like seeing a kite and it just kind of makes you happy to be around that. Uh, and I also have a ponytail most of the time so it's kind of like my tail. Um, yeah, and it's stuck. I didn't think it really would but all the work, everyone in the community knows me as a Pipa. So that's my name. <laughs> Your name too. My name is Joe. And one time in passing, I said I like sparkling water. Shawnee also likes sparkling water, so we had a brief discussion about this machine she has at her house. Uh, what it does is it, you put the water in the machine and it turns it into sparkling water. She likes it a lot. She recommended it to me if I like sparkling water. I usually drink Crystal Geyser. Uh, she likes San Pellegrino the most. I'm actually a big Crystal Geyser advocate. I'm not that big of a fan of fake sparkling water like Shawnee likes, but that's a discussion for another day. Um, so I said I like sparkling water, and Shawnee thought we should make a nickname out of that. So her first attempt was Sparkled, and I was like, there's no chance you're calling me Sparkle. So then she said, hey Jesse, uh, what's a good name? So he said Bubbles in Shawnee liked it, even though I said no. They just started calling me that. Now I don't have a choice. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm, uh, I'm Draga. <laughs> Working on some cement wall here. Uh, apparently, I'm a decent post hole digger, because uh, Draga translates directly over to that. Um, so I'm just dropping that name. Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm Kava. First, my name was Mara, but it was too pretty for me, so uh, Shawnee and Jesse wanted me to get a better name, and Kava is actually a fly bee kind of thing, and it looks really delicate, but really, it gives a big stick. So, they gave me the nickname Ejimota because I guess it means like Eddie the Motor fast I worked because I was working pretty fast and when we were out there I had like a full grown beard going on and I guess I looked like this singer who was named Ejimota so like it, they just kind of like clicked and they all seemed to like the name so 
it just worked out that way that that's what they ended up calling me for the entire trip. Um, so my nickname is Panapana, and Panapana was given to me by Shani and Jesse. Uh, a Panapana is a beautiful fluorescent blue butterfly that's big, maybe the size of my hand. Um, it's very quiet, but brings beauty to wherever she goes. <laughs> no. Well, how I got my nickname. My name is Galoo. Uh, it means rooster. And I got that because I guess my hair looks like the top of a rooster's head. So as you can see, my name is Pika Pao. Uh, in English, it's a woodpecker. And so I got that because uh, first Julius was named Galu, which is rooster or chicken, one of those two. And then they thought I was like a woodpecker because, you know, at night I snore a lot. And um, my hair is kind of like, <laughs> see? <laughs> uh, I'm Rachel, my nickname is Grasa. Um, it means grace and funny. So the ironic part is grace because I think Zay, the community member, gave it to me after I got freaked out by a bug. And then funny is because he thinks I'm funny. <laughs> um. I actually had a hard time getting a nickname because my name in itself is kind of a nickname. Um, we went through a few different things, possibly Dragonfly, Shawnee said Gazelle because in the soccer game I looked like a gazelle. Um, but it ended up being Lumi, which means firefly. Um, I really like fire and I chose orange as my hammock and with my red hair I just I don't know I love fiery colors and, and they saw a fire in me when I played soccer so um, I think that's why Lumi kind of stuck a little bit um, and we kind of combined it with my name so Lumi Zumi or Zumi Lumi. So my nickname is Brisa which means the breeze and I got this nickname because Either you tell me there's a spider next to me, or if there's like dessert on the table, I have the same exact face, which is like that, so I'm called the Breeze. <laughs> These are mangas. I am manga. We are mangas. Nate first wanted the name manga, but it didn't really fit him, and everybody thought that manga fit me, not Nate. Therefore, <laughs> Manga is my name now. Me no me a manga. My nickname is Nachino, which means uh, little Nate in uh, Portuguese. And I think that's pretty self explanatory. 